The modular VTOL system is composed of three units. One, the wheel unit. Two, the cabin unit. Three, the propeller unit. The pod bus reaches a vertiport and the platform lifts up. The propeller unit is docked in place at the pergola and combines with the pod bus. The wheel unit is then detached and the VTOL is set to take off. The platform goes down and charges the wheel unit. Another VTOL lands at the joining point on the pergola. The platform raises to combine the wheel unit and the docked VTOL. After the propeller unit is separated, the pod bus goes down to the V-port, while the separated propeller unit is charged by a smart pergola. The modular VTOL system is available in three sizes. For one passenger, the simplest and most compact unit. For two passengers, an automated flying unit with seats facing each other. And the four-seater pod, which emphasizes comfort during the ride and is ideal for business meetings. It can also accommodate an emergency stretcher. The seamless transportation to all floors can be achieved by expanding the original concept of a vertical traffic system to the V-port on the rooftop. Each smart pergola cell is designed to be the same shape as the propeller unit and enables the propeller unit to stand by on the smart pergola. Each smart pergola cell is a solar panel and provides power to the propeller unit. The VTOL transforms into a pod bus after landing and gets moved down via the shuttle lift. Each lift has a set of pallets that allows for simultaneous ascent and descent. This ensures efficient pod bus transportation. The exterior surface of the shuttle lifts are solar panels and provide the required power supply. Once the pod bus arrives on the ground, it can drive directly to the street. This completes the seamless transition from the sky to the urban area. The lift pallet with built-in motor is supported by a cantilever structure, which runs along the channel in the shaft. There are two channels, one for up and the other for down. It rotates 180 degrees between the roof, the pit and the transfer floor, facilitating efficient transportation. The pallet rotates in the overhead or underground pit to allow it to switch to the ascending and descending routes. In the case of longer travel distances, it can also switch at the transit floor in the center of the tower. Vertical access is made possible by shuttle lift technology, and people can transit to and from the local mobility hub on each floor. At the ground floor level, the tower volume can be raised so that the mobilities can move freely below the tower. This allows for a three-dimensional urban plaza to be created on the ground below the tower. A V-port is situated on the rooftop. A shuttle lift can connect directly between the ground and sky. The logistics center function on the roof allows for seamless integration of the tower architecture and the city on the ground level. By shifting the building volume, it allows for V-port operation on the transfer floors, making accessibility more efficient and direct. The shuttle system also demonstrates innovative building evacuation. The system supports an inclusive society, particularly for disabled workers, by providing a one-way evacuation route when necessary. By raising the logistic hubs, it facilitates the seamless movement of people on the ground and reduces underground construction. The public area of each floor becomes part of an urban space that is vertically continuous with the surrounding city. A local mobility hub is born. Even within the floors, smaller mobility units induce encounters between people through a flexible, seamless and free transportation. The ground level becomes a park-like space. 3D travelling will be further enhanced by ramps or other means. The SMS seamlessly connects the ground level, all building floors and the sky.